who also went on to be the red and white grand champion of the Open and Junior Shows at the North American International Livestock Exposition. Ladies and gentlemen, again, let's welcome our associate judge, Mr. Chip Savage.
Judge Banky has completed his placings in the Milking Shorthorn four-year-old cow class. I'd like to ask our junior exhibitors to please take a step forward. The second place junior is entry 1595 BDF Polaris Abbey, shown by Taylor Graves of Danville, Kentucky. Third place in the class goes to entry 1591 Core Star PVF Love Spell EXP, shown by Jason and Leah James of Mineral Point, Wisconsin. Second place in the class and best bred and owned, entry 1590, Kuzmar Mega Lely 62, shown by John and Marjorie Kuzlik of Batavia, New York. Winning the class, she's the first junior, she's the best stutter, and she's the production award winner, entry 1594, Maple Fudge of 12 Oaks, shown by Colton and Ashley Brandel, Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Judge Banky, your comments, please. Pretty special when you get <clears throat> a pair of cows like this. Really peas in a pod, cows that are made very, very similar. Cows that walk with grace and style. Cows that have strength and substance, yet are thin-hided, clean, and dairy. And they have beautiful mammary systems. I think it's a really close placing between these two. The first cow gets the nod. She's a little bit longer from nose to tail. She's a little more open in her rib today. And she's a little higher at the point of rear udder attachment and has her front teats that are just a little farther under the quarter. Not to take anything away from this beautiful cow in second. A cow that's cut in the same cloth a cow that walks out gracefully, a cow that's hard on her top. She's got width to her chest. She's got great spring of ribs. She's got a welded on mammary system. She uses her advantage and drop to her rib today, strength to her fore udder attachment, and crease up the back of her rear udder today, along with rear udder height and width to go over the cow in third. An extremely long frame, long neck cow in third. I love the length of that cow. I'd like to give her a little more drop to her rib to help balance out her udder to push that back just a little bit. She is deeper in her flank today than the cow that's in fourth, and her front teeth set more nicely under each quarter. You have to admire those that pair of cows, the third and fourth cows in the ring, incredible length of frame, long neck, clean angular dairy cows. That fourth place cow goes over the fourth caver that's in fifth place because of her advantage of having more definition of having up the back of her udder and she's more angular and clean cut just a little more open in her rib today than that beautiful uttered cow that's in fifth the fifth place cow has obvious advantage in height and width to her rear udder today and length to her fore udder to go over the second caver that comes sixth in line a great pair of cows to stand first and second in the class again let's give them a really nice round of applause Congratulations.